So the, uh, the Wilderness Skills Backpack Course uh, is really there to get yourself right back into nature. We sleep under the stars, we don't have tents, and by day one everybody's a little bit nervous, day two everybody's really getting into it, by day three you know, everybody is so attuned into, into nature and uh, they're picking up the birds, they're picking up the, the animal behaviour and uh, you know, most of all they're just enjoying that wilderness spirit. Take your, take your life on your back for a couple of days, um, pack good food, um, maybe not too many tins but uh, something that's lightweight, uh, make sure that you've got a good sleeping bag Make sure that uh, you've got adequate water, possibly two litres plus uh, to um, collect on a daily basis. But uh, most of all, make sure you've got your binoculars, make sure you've got your, your camera to record all these wonderful sightings that we'll have out here. Good walking shoes, also a good idea. Yeah, we'll be walking first couple of days, maybe between six, seven, um, eight k's a day. Uh, third day, a little bit longer. And today is the, is the longest route that we're going to be taking. Um, close on 15 k's, tomorrow about 8 k's, and then um, a short 4 or 5 k's back into camp on, uh, on the morning of, uh, of day 6. Um, we're looking at tracks, um, we're looking at uh, signs of the animals, we're looking at their behaviour, uh, we're also looking at birds um, in terms of uh, their behaviours um, and what they are, are doing. Their uh, eating habits, their diets, um, and also their nesting habits. The other thing that we will definitely cover, um, all the small things as well. Everything from the, the smaller lizards to the, the beetles. We had a wonderful little um, encounter this morning with one of the dung beetles um, on, top of, uh, on top of dung. So we'll look at the small things as well as the, uh, as the big things. And, uh, and that's what it's all about. Uh, Mother Nature is not just the big five, um, it's, the, it's the small things. The other thing that we will definitely cover is all these beautiful trees that we have around us. Uh, the iconic trees of the, uh, of the Makaliki concession. We're looking at the things like the baobab, we're looking at the anna trees, we're looking at the sycamore figs, and uh, you know, those are the ones that uh, will really draw the, um, the people who, who love not only the animals and the birds, but also the vegetation and the trees that are, that are around us. So we will cover all those characteristics and more importantly cover some of the cultural aspects of the uses of these, of these trees as we go. So it's a comprehensive uh, five nights, six days look at, at nature um, and particularly in terms of this wonderful uh, Makaliki concession that I've been so privileged to be able to have walked. Um, with Eco Training uh, since 2007. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below and check out the Eco Training channel for more great content.